trend was defined by a pattern of higher bottoms and higher tops for an uptrend, and a pattern of lower lows and lower highs for the downtrend. This is true even on the most minute tape reading scale since horizontal support and resistance levels tells us where the buyers and sellers are. Angles are a form of straight line moving averages which estimate momentum and normally an angle suggests where buyers or sellers should be based on a chart's price movement momentum. Since the angles are approximate targets we must look to find some kind of real support or resistance to sell against or buy on. When the calculated targets combine with the projected angles targets, you will get a reversal. Keep in mind two things. The first is that you need a reversal signal bar to know the trend has changed, so you just don't buy or sell on the angle per se, but you could use a very tight stop at that point. The second observation is that as a professional trader you must buy or sell at precise targets and not just any haphazard target that pops up. Note the principle that when one angle breaks the price must go to the next angle. Time is everything, the saying goes, but this assumes that you buy or sell at extremely favorable prices, and they are infrequent and exist only for brief moments. To be successful in the markets, you have to buy cheap and sell expensive, and this is always a relative concept. There is only one absolute maximum and one final minimum, and trying to catch them every day is the right way to collapse. That's why 99% of all traders are trend followers who assume that the existing trend will continue and continue to buy or sell until they start losing money and then change their strategy. If we can better determine when the trend will reverse and start acting earlier, our profit margins will increase dramatically. One of the main purposes of corners is that they give us a way to divide both time and space. Most traders can detect a 50% price correction, and some can expect a 50% correction of the time spent on the movement. But few people understand how a moving trend line balances time and price at the same time. Using the word timeline rather than angle can help clarify this, and we see that if the timeline starts at the zero price and represents a one by one angle, we note that when the line crosses the price at number 30, it will be 30 price units higher and more than 30 units time. An angle with a different number of degrees, for example 1 by 2, will intersect 30 and half. Let's now look at some time and price sharing techniques to see which angles can reveal key secrets that we haven't seen before. The underlying price pullback is usually considered as a percentage, such as 50%. The midpoint between the minimum and maximum is always the strongest point, and by definition, if you never go back more than 50% and move forward again, that's why 99% of all traders are trend followers who assume that the existing trend will continue and continue to buy or sell until they start losing money and then change their strategy. We need to discuss the most important principle of all technical analysis and trading, which is that changes in the trend occur when both time cycles and price support coincide or resistance. In other words, when a stock falls to price support. It can just lie there, not rising, but if, while it is at the support level, a time cycle comes out, the trend will reverse, and the stock price will go up again. The resulting intersection of GAN angles gives reversals of trends in time, as well as reversals in levels. Pay attention to the horizontal and vertical lines, which shows all possible price and time reversals. This method works for all time frames from the first to the month. The most important angle is 45. The intersection of 45 angles is more important for the trend reversal. There are several secrets on guns corners. But I am not going to show everything here. I will show a few of them without revealing the secret.
pay attention to the two different red lines, which shows the time, the trend was clearly processing the reversal when the time came. Therefore, I confirm that every class of phenomena, whether in nature or on the market, must be subject to the universal laws of causality, harmony and vibration.